Hey, welcome to a new series here where I go over legendary weapons, items, and accessories from Terraria mods. And the first mod we're going to be going over here is the Juice mod, which adds in a bunch of legendary weapons. And they're all based off of my characters from my Terraria playthroughs. So let's get into it. So the legendary weapons from the Juice mod have a 1 in 30,000 chance of dropping on normal mode and a 1 of 20... 5,000 chance of dropping in expert mode. So there is six legendary weapons and they all get more powerful as you progress through the game killing vanilla bosses and juice mod bosses. So starting with the first couple of bosses, this is the bonus you get after killing them. This includes the King Slime, Ari Cthulhu, Eater of Worlds, Brain of Cthulhu, and Queen Bee. They each give you a 25% upgrade to the weapon's damage. Skeletron gives a 50% increase to damage. The Wall of Flesh gives a 150% increase in damage. The Destroyer, the Twins, Skeletron Prime, Plantera, Golem, Duke Fishron, and the Lunatic Cultist, and each of the Lunar Pillars give you a 100% increase in damage. The Moon Lord, the Jumbo Kakatar, SAX, and Gilgamesh each give a 1500% increase in damage. These all added together give a total of 7500 of the Legendary Weapons base damage. That's that's a lot of damage. All right, let's start with the first weapon, Book's Bullet Hell. This weapon has five base damage and fires 16 bullets in a large spread. As you can see here, this gun, this gun can do some work. This gun, just like the spread, is so useful, especially on like big groups of enemies. And then if you get like chlorified bullets on this, this thing is crazy. Let's test it out here on the King Slime with the chlorified bullets. It's gonna be a really good gun to have throughout the whole entire game because it can definitely carry you through the game but obviously you want some variation you want to unless unless you're doing a specific playthrough where you want to use just like legendary weapons just one the whole playthrough be my guess but this is a good weapon i recommend carrying it trying to get it as fast as you can because it would definitely help out any range playthrough so the next weapon we're going to go over is warhammer of grognak it has 15 base damage its right click unleashes a little shockwave attack let's see it whoa Oh my god, do you see that? Okay, I might have missed, but that's fucking insane. Whoa! Boom! That's crazy! My character is sideways, though. Oh, look. Oh, look at him go up those slopes. Alright, the next weapon we're gonna go over is Nunderson's Glove. This throws lots of shurikens and has 9 base damage. Right clicking throws a giant shuriken. Whoa! Look at that shuriken. That thing sure is giant. This music is fucking bumping. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can land this giant shuriken on this. Pop! Ooh, look at that. Doing work right here. Really cool glove, and especially since it's like a throwing weapon. How many throwing weapons do you see in mods? Probably a lot. But it's a throwing weapon, and a, it's always nice when mods add things to thrower classes. So boom, try and get you this legendary right here. The next weapon is the Staff of David. It has two base damage. It fires a giant laser that damages enemies extremely rapidly and ignores defense. And then also has a right click that fires three magical bolts that bounce off walls. Peep it. Ooh, bounce. Let's see if I can make it bounce here, but obviously we want to see this. Oh my god. Next up is Larkus's Tome. It has six base damage and it summons a spirit of power that fires a spread of eight short range piercing beams all around it. And it also increases your max number of minions while active. So say you're only allowed to have one minion. Boom, use that, you get an extra slot. Now you got two. Very nice. Look at it do that work. Ooh. Last but not least is Uncle Karius' fishing pole. Now this is very, very cool. There's a fishing pole legendary weapon and it has eight base range damage. Obtain insanely rarely from fishing. Right clicking it to fling four to five fish. Fishing power is equal to damage. Amount of lures and fish velocity increases with boss progression. This is super, super cool. Peep this. Oh, we got four right at the start. But as you go, you get more of them. Oh, I caught some. Check this. Oh, electric eel. Hell no. What am I shooting at him? I'm shooting fucking fish. Look at that. I'm shooting fish. I'm about to beat this shark's ass right now. How you like that? You're getting beat by fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if there's no, like, particular style yet. This is the first episode of this series. And hopefully I can get a more stylized little series going on. A little outline or something. But, yeah. That has been the Juice Mod and its legendary weapons. I'll see y'all next time.